Hello everyone, it's Consultatus here from LearnCotch Consulting, also known as LearnCotch on Twitter. Matt Johnson and I have been having a bit of a conversation about where learning has gone the last 10 years and where learning is going to go over the next 10 years. And I thought I'd summarise my thoughts in this quick little video. In my view, over the last 10 years, we've seen blended learning really pick up and it's becoming more and more important to our learning interventions and I can see that continuing. Thanks to people like Charles Jennings, who've rekindled the romance with that 70-20-10 model, I think blended learning is something that will continue to develop and we shall see it playing a bigger role. In the same breath, I also think impact, learning measurement, uh, what difference is learning making in the workplace, will also continue to play a role. I think it will move into the next level up, which will be a more demand for the so what of learning. The measure of learning will move into the next phase, which will be how do learning make a difference to your organisation, to the business outcomes. So we'll start seeing the alignment of outcomes directly to learning interventions. And I think that's one to keep your eye on. Technology will have a big impact and has had an impact and will continue to have an impact. We're seeing things like gamification going game busters at the moment. I think gamification will continue to develop leaderboards, Badges, rewards, recognitions. I don't know where it will settle. It probably won't even settle at all. But gamification will start to infiltrate our learning interventions a lot more. And it's one thing to keep your eye on as you progress your learning interventions. Lastly, wearable technology. I've got my Apple iWatch on. Great luxury to have. Helps me out in my day-to-day -day tasks. But how can we use this type of device in our learning interventions? Something to keep your eye on. Also, we have things like Google Cardboard, where you can get some virtual reality. Another option to think about. We start to see the proliferation of eye beacons, little remote little buzzers that sit on a desk and buzz you via your iPhone or when someone with another eye beacon is nearby. Things to keep your mind on. Keep looking, keep searching, keep investigating. We're in a good spot. We have an opportunity to make a difference. Technology will support us, but we also have to be creative and innovative in the way we approach it. Great to be with you again. Thanks, Matt, for this opportunity. If you'd like to keep in touch, it's LearnCotch on Twitter. I'm also on LinkedIn. Drop me an email. We'll have a chat. Thank you, everyone, and good luck for the rest of the conference.